Well, Pano, after a great start, you know, on the pitch, you know, you and the team have had a, a weekend away from football, no match this weekend. How how was how was it for you? It was fine. It was good. Not really. We went away from football because we we practiced. We had a good week of training, and uh, we also been thinking about uh, our coming upcoming games and weeks uh, that we have ahead. But uh, yes, we we had some uh, at least um, uh, days where we could. Uh, load a little bit and especially when we weren't working we could uh, go and and look around and definitely i wanted to see a little bit more and get to know reading uh, the city and and also for personal reasons i i also moved uh, in a in a little bit bigger area around fantastic well and it is important isn't it for for players to kind of have a little bit of downtime when these opportunities arise you know not just for their bodies but for their minds as well sometimes yeah it's good i think after the, um, the first month of uh, competition, it was important for us uh, to have this break, as I said before, to, to analyze and see where, wherever we can improve uh, on and off the field and, and work. work. And, and I think that's what we did and it was very well. For, uh, the past week of training was very good and I think now we have another week where we have to prepare for our next, next game, next opponent. And just just focusing quickly on what you said there about going into the into the centre of Reading and things, that was probably a bit of a nice change because of course it's been non-stop for you from a, since you got here football non-stop and yeah to actually go into the town was probably a bit of a. I treat. don't mind it. I don't mind it. I enjoyed what I'm doing and and I'm very happy with uh, with everything that is going on right now here around the team and inside of of our club. Absolutely, but as you mentioned already, you know you've had that time on the training ground working hard and. As he said, you know, there's no no stopping just because we're doing well. Quite the opposite, in fact, you know, an opportunity to keep yeah. improving. Yeah, exactly. We this week we are going to work on preparing for the game, but uh, we will begin with reminding ourselves uh, uh, on on our last performances and also what made us uh, have so such a good start. Where while we keep ourselves uh, reminding to keep the the feet, our feet on the ground. We also, uh, we also cannot. We have to acknowledge the good things we did so far, and we want to keep building on top of that. So this is a great opportunity for us to even uh, increase the the level, and uh, and we have a very, very, very difficult game Saturday. So we have a goal to uh, towards which we we want to work, and we are going to prepare. And, and of course, yeah, Saturday is the start of, a, I think, before the next international weekend. I think we've got seven games to squeeze into that period. Uh, it's going to be a really heavy workload. Are you quite mindful of the fact that it's going to be such a, you know, physically and mentally quite a draining period for the, for the club, for the, for the team? No, we are here to compete. We are here to work. And this is, we, are, we are embracing the opportunities we have ahead because we believe the team is in a good shape. And uh, all you want to do when, when you're excelling and playing this well, you want to continue playing and, and competing. So we will, again, one game at a time, we will prepare for our next opponent, and next, then for the next one and next one. It is not allowed to look at the standings, but yes, we can watch our calendar. We can watch to our uh, opponents that are upcoming uh, and uh, we, are, we are happy to do it. And it is the, it's quite the kind of the cliche we always use about one game at a time, but it is really true, isn't it? You know, Middlesbrough's first and then, you, you know, the games after can, you know, you almost don't even think about who they're against, let alone where you've got to be. It's just that first opportunity, isn't it, for yeah. three points? Well, we have, we have a plan. Uh, again, looking in our calendar, it's very important to have a strategy. We, we do have it, but uh, again, everything starts with the next game. So this, this is the approach we have, we had so far and we will continue having and it's a long old journey up to Middlesbrough, 250 miles up the road. And no excuses. No, no excuses, excuse. of course. But we're coming up against a Neil Warnock team. Neil Warnock has been a manager in the Championship for a long time, had a lot of success, and he's got a reputation of very competitive physical physical teams. And I'm sure you've uh, you know had a chance to scout their team out. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic manager, fantastic um, team also, and a great career. So congratulations on, on all that. But again, uh, same, same as, as him, uh, same as us. We know that we ha have only one game and that's the next game where we, we have to prepare ourselves for. So we will, we will do our job and we will always focus on ourselves and uh, we respect everyone, wish everyone the best.